Hello, this is Rani Singh here down at Canalside reporting for KLTV. I'm here today to speak to Mr. Simon Grayson after securing the loan deal of Jermaine Beckford from Leicester City. Also, after disappointing defeat against Watford at home on the weekend, we catch his views and thoughts on Tuesday night's encounter with Leicester City Football Club. Firstly, disappointing result against Watford on the weekend. What was your evaluation of the game and was it just a bad day at the office? Well, we performed below par, but it was still some positives to get out of the game. I thought, uh, like any game, at 1 0, it's finally balanced still. We had some good opportunities, and Keith had a, an opportunity to, uh, to make us 2 0 up and one or two other things. Um, if that had gone in, then I, would have, I think we'd have been quite comfortable. But obviously, at 1 0, you're still vulnerable. They get the goal and then get the tails up a little bit. Um, responded well, getting back into it 2 2, and then obviously the penalty which I think was a penalty when I've seen it now, um, has obviously given them the chance to win it. But like, there were some decent things. We, I don't think we were dreadful or anything like that. We, we still worked extremely hard. We just lacked a little uh, spark about us with and without the ball, which has made us very good this season so far. But uh, yeah, we, like every game, we analyse it, good things and bad things, and we're ready for a big game on Tuesday night now. Speaking of last week, fantastic victory against Blackpool and obviously the loss on the weekend. How do you go about lifting the morale of the players for the big game tomorrow night? And that, that's not a problem whatsoever. Players are full of confidence, full of belief in their ability that they can go and get another result against a, a top team. Um, so no, the confidence hasn't been sort of hit by it at all because they know they've produced some good performances and know they're comfortable in this championship uh, division at this moment in time. All we're going to do is just sort of lift the bar a little bit compared to Saturday. But that's part and parcel of the championship. You, you make decision, wrong decisions or uh, you get punished at this level rather than at League One and that's what we're working to strive for to make sure that things don't happen. And you make Beckford, you reunited with him once again. <laughs> How do you think he did on the, on the weekend against Watford? Yeah, I thought he did okay. I thought he did some good things. Um, wasn't easy to come into the team when he's not uh, done any training sessions with us, uh, but we felt it was the right thing to point straight into the team. Um, he probably, again, as I mentioned, that we didn't play to the best of our abilities, which probably didn't lead to him getting the service that he'd like and that I know he can get. Um, but uh, look, I'm delighted to have got him. He'll work hard for the team and hopefully get many goals for us, which will contribute to many victories over the next uh, three months while we've got him. But there's another option for us. Obviously, we had James Vaughan out and Adam Hamill out at the weekend. Um, but uh, that competition for places is something that we need. He's quoted as saying the deal to get Jermaine to the club was difficult. What were the reasons behind that, if you could share? I don't think any deal was that easy anyway. We, we were working hard with Leicester uh, to try and get the deals done. And, and I think it's common knowledge that Jermaine made a sacrifice financially to come to the club. Um, but deals are never easy, no matter if you're signing for Leicester or, or Wimbledon or wherever. It's uh, never a straightforward deal. So uh, delighted to got it done and delighted to have got him here for three months. Would you like that to be extended for a well, we'll just see where we, yeah, we'll see where we go. He's not our player. We've got him for, we've, we're glad that Leicester have given us that opportunity to, to uh, come to our football club. What happens in January, we'll, we'll see the situation, but it's a short term that we're looking for at the moment. And on to tomorrow's opponents, Leicester. There's not much to call between the two sides if you look at the Championship. Is that a measure of how close things are in the league? Well, that's, that's exactly what it's about, is the Championship. That, a couple of victory gets you right into the top reaches of it, a couple of defeats, three or four, gets you down the bottom. And that's what it's all about, basically being consistent with results and performances. Um, and, and a couple of weeks ago, people were saying that uh, Leicester was struggling, but a couple of wins gets them just uh, above us in the table. So, ingredients have been a good game. They've got some good players, one of the uh, division's favourites because of the squad that they've got. So, it's another good test for us. And of course, you spent many years, successful years at Leicester. What do you believe has changed since then up until now for the club? Uh, well, it's, since then it was a long time ago. Ninety-seven, I left so fifteen years ago. Um, so lots have changed. Different owners, they've had the administration, but I suppose what they're looking to do is to get the team back into the Premiership. But we're looking to to do exactly them, whether it's this year or in the future. We're looking to stabilise and, and just keep progressing on a on a regular basis. Different sort of expectancy levels for uh, this football club compared to to Leicester's and one or two other clubs. And again tomorrow. What do you expect from the opponents? Well, again, as I said, they've got some good players, attacking players. have got uh, Nugent, who's been a Premiership player, got a trick against uh, Hull, uh, Hull the week before. Um, other players that can sort of win games for them. So uh, we know we're in for a tough test. This is, on paper, is one of the hardest games of the season, which everybody will have looked at anyway. So it's a challenge for the players, as they all are. Let's go out and enjoy ourselves, work hard, and, and try and upset the, uh, the odds again. 
Will you be getting inside knowledge from Jermaine? Well, there's a possibility, isn't it? But he's uh, obviously he's full time there, to, their uh, player, short term hours. Uh, if he's got anything that he can help us out with, then so be it. But uh, it's not really sort of about like getting information off Jermaine because we do all our reports. I watched them last week against all my other staff have watched them in games as well, so it, we're not relying on Jermaine to, uh, to win us a game. And on Saturday, it was the first home defeat of the season. What kind of response would you like to trigger from there? Well, well, obviously, to get a win. Um, it would have been nice to have won at the weekend and keep the unbeaten run going, but that happens. I'm, I'm just so pleased that we went the amount of games that we did unbeaten and had a little bit of a run going. Best way to, uh, to respond to adversity is get back out on, uh, on the pitch again and try and get back a, a victory. You said Jane Vaughan's doubt and also Adam Hamill Hamel doesn't seem to have recovered. Is there any other injury doubts? Uh, no, I think we, that's about it really. We've got one or two sort of got kicks at the weekend, but you give them that opportunity. I'm sure by uh, quarter to eight on Tuesday night, they'll all be raring to go to get a victory. Well, all the best for tonight. No problem. Thank you. There you go, spoke to Simon Grayson this week after a surprising defeat against Watford at home. To entertain Leicester, the Foxes, tomorrow evening, where Simon assures us that he's done his homework and hopefully it'll be another three points for the Terriers. This is Randy Singh reporting for KLTV.